little bit, if you look at things like pork and meat as a seasoning instead of the main entree, if you look, there's still plenty of protein in this dish. I mean, probably almost half the amount of protein you'd need in a day in a serving without eating a huge quantity of meat. And you still get all these vegetables and noodles and everything, so it's still a very filling dish. But you don't get quite so much uh, beef all at once, and it still feels very flavorful. Okay, so you know, this is a uh, uh, boiling water. Uh, this noodle is very important. Uh, so in the, uh, to, not to uh, overcook. Don't do that because uh, overcook is uh, all stuck, stuck the noodle, stuck. So it's uh, just a uh, little bit, two minutes. One out that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then just cold washing. Uh, two times, several times. And then drain water, and then one more time, one more time, I step back. So, all done. I feel like when she's showing you all the vegetables, they're not cooked to death. They're just cooked enough to take some of the rawness out of them. Um, if you were to ever see in a book, it's sometimes called like tender crisp, or like pork tender, or in other words, al dente, where you still want some bite to it. That means it still has all the nutrients intact. But when you cook vegetables and you break some of that fiber down, that's how you absorb the nutrients. If you eat everything just raw, a lot of the nutrients are locked up in the fiber and you can't really get to them. When you quickly cook them, you still retain all the nutrients, but you allow it to be absorbable and open you to have. And you can tell by how beautifully colorful it is. The carrots are still bright, the spinach is still bright. That means all the nutrients haven't been lost. Okay. So, you know, always my action is very fast. So, uh, this is too much, uh, a little bit low, so I just cut, okay.